Hey guys, this is Rick Euser with Airgun Web and Airgun Web TV, and we're here at the Pyramid Air booth and the Air Venturi booth at SHOT Show 2016. I'm here with my friend Derek. Derek? How you doing, Rick? I'm doing very well. How are you? Good, good. I've known Derek for a while, and he's going to talk to us about some of the new products here at Air Venturi and Pyramid Air. What do you got that you want to show us today? First up, we have the uh, a new supplier we're working with called the Ottoman. Okay. They're out of Russia. Uh, Can I grab this? Sure, absolutely. You grab this gun here. We Talk about it over here in front of the camera. One of the main features about this gun is, of course, going to be the collapsible butt stock. It's adjustable for length of pull. Sweet. And uh, you can, of course, fold it over uh, for, for compactness. Excellent. So it's going to be a good truck gun, something like that. Uh, the fill pressure on the gun is 300 bar. Okay. You're looking at getting the gun in 177 caliber, 22 caliber, as well as 25 caliber. The gun is regulated at 110 bar, so you're in this configuration, you're going to get about 40 good shots in 22 Outstanding. caliber. So bolt our side lever action. Side correct? lever action. All right, and you were telling me that the your models you're getting won't have the stainless steel. Correct, correct. The new models we're getting in is just going to be black anodized. Okay. What I noticed about this was it's incredibly smooth. Exactly. And the trigger right. is incredibly light. I'm guessing it's an adjustable trigger? It is. It's a two-stage adjustable. Cool. You can barely feel that single yeah, stage. Yeah, thing. right. And this is a little bit of suppression? A little bit of suppression, shrouded barrel. The barrel's 17 inches on this okay. model. So. Outstanding. Well, this is really cool. And, and energy again is what, gonna, what are we looking at for energy? In 22 caliber, you're going to be looking at about tw uh, 30 to 35 foot pounds. Well, that's uh, that's a really good hunting gun. Exactly. I'm seeing yeah. a lot at shot this year as I'm trying to go through what's, you know, big at shot. It's the compact hunting rifle. Exactly. And I, think, I think that's really what shot was about this year as I'm mm -hmm. doing the math in my head. But the compact hunting rifle it seems to fit right in that. That's what the right consumers want right part. now. Cool. Yeah. Let's see, what else we got here? We've got this new pistol. Now, this was a surprise, I guess, showed up here? Exactly, yeah. The uh, Auto Mine guys brought it in. We weren't quite expecting it. It looks like it's going to be a cross between a target shooting pistol and a sporting pistol, okay. which is really going to gonna get on the market really well. Let um, me tell you what I like about this, and I only know it just this little bit of time. It's very light. Yeah, it's exactly. not bulky. It's pistol size. Mm -hmm. It's not huge, and, you know, there's some other air pistols on the market, but they're almost, you might as well right. put a stock and call them a carbon. Right, right. This, this is not that. This very well. Yeah. And this also. Side lever, side magazine lever, fed. Very good, very, very good trigger. Exactly. And this is available in? 22 caliber as well as 177. See, There's also very, gonna very be cool. a plethora of accessories for it as well as a longer barrel. Okay. You're gonna have a longer air tube for it as well. These tubes also do take 300 bar fill up. Outstanding. Um, and additional pistol grips will be available for it. So, you know, you can have it as a target gun or you can have it as more of a, uh, you know, 45 ACP gripped right. sort of pistol. So. This is very, very cool. I like this quite a bit. It's got a rail, obviously you have to put some sort of optic. A or red dot, something, something like that. Something yeah. like that, but that is extremely nice. I'll be very excited to see these when they finally come I'm, in. Me too. Now we've got the wing shot. The wing shot. This, uh, bad boy right here this was a lot of fun to film uh this was a hoot mm -hmm. it's one of those things where you say gosh do i really need that and then you go shoot it and you say yes i really need that <laughs> if for no other reason it's just a lot of fun but it's actually pretty practical too right right uh, what have you what, what do you like about this uh most of all i just like that it's an air shotgun there's nothing yeah. been ever like that uh on the market as of yet uh in, in the in the availability that this right, is true um, this gun's going to take 3,000 PSI fill. It's going to use a 50 caliber smooth bore barrel. It shoots a little slug or shoots a uh, shotgun yeah. shell about that. You're going to get 110 grain to 120 grains in the shot shell. And it patterns really well at about 20 yards or so. Past that, it's going to drop off a bit. That's so. exactly what I found in my video, too, yeah, is that yeah. at 15, it actually patterns super good. Mm -hmm. So I would imagine 20, it just starts spreading a little bit and right, past that. Right. I actually took some clays out of midair. You don't want to know how many I had to throw to get those. Right. We'll leave that to be our little <laughs> movie secret, but uh, it will do it, which was right. a ton of fun. Okay, we'll put this one back. We have these products. Right. This so, is the uh, newer M22 ICC. It's gonna be CO2 operated, 19 shots in the magazine, and it's just gonna utilize a, a standard 12 gram CO2 cartridge. Cool. We're seeing about 50 or 60 shots per cartridge. Outstanding. If the weather's good, of course, you know, sure, you have to keep all... that in, in mind. Right. So um, people are really liking that so far. It's one of the guns that people have really been asking for over the past few years. 
um, so they can train in the off season, things like that. That's really cool. I'm glad you brought that up about the training because we were at the SIG shoot at the range day. Mm. We saw Max Michelle just, oh, just yeah. clear targets yeah. like that. But you can only get to that level if you actually do the work. Exactly. Something like this mimics so closely your actual carry weapon that you could actually do this sort of training. And you can shoot at, for pennies on the dollar. Uh, at a fraction of the cost yep. and at a far more convenient location. Tell me about your new scopes here. These are uh, the Air Venturi Mantis scopes. It's gonna be an entry level uh, budget scope okay. meant, for, meant for folks getting into the sport that are wanting some of the features that are available in the higher end scopes, like adjustable objective, uh, adjustable turns, as well as the mill dot reticle. Okay, I was just gonna ask if this had a mill dot reticle. It does indeed. And it does, and it actually looks pretty good through that. Class. Yeah, I thought it was pretty clear. Do you have an idea of what price point on this? They should be? be the three to nine should be around sixty to seventy bucks. Okay. So, um, of and course, they air gun rated, right. obviously. Right. Exactly. Right. Okay. Exactly. Well, this but, looks. I mean, if you're looking for a budget scope, that's the you way know, to go. You don't always have to spend four hundred bucks. That's true. You know, you that's certainly true. don't need that if you're shooting 20, 30 yards. Sure. Something like this sure. should work just great. All right. We've got so much on this table, man. <laughs> All right, hand me that big silver one. That's, I mean, that's that's the one I really like. This is the Duke. This is the Duke. It's the new John Wayne licensed Colt Peacemaker. And it's gonna utilize, it's a single action based on the single action sure. Army Colt. It's gonna utilize cartridge fed. Uh, right, so you wanna get these out, you half cock it. Right. There you go. And your BB is just going to go right in the rear end right okay. there. These will be available in BB and pellet configurations. Excellent. You're generally going to want to use the pellets to get a little bit more accuracy out of it. And of course, BBs, you know, are going to be a bit cheaper to yep. shoot. So. so let's talk about the BBs a little bit. I love shooting steel target, but you mm -hmm. can't do that with steel BBs. Right, right. Because they ricochet all over the place. I got to try these actually with the with the John oh, Wayne really? revolvers because okay. I've done a review on these. It was the weathered or blued model. Sure. But in any case. These are very cool because when they hit, they flatten. Right, right. They don't ricochet all over the place. We're pretty excited about it. Yeah, them. I was like really tickled to see these come out. I yeah. like the action shooting genre to begin with, sure. and this makes that right. that much easier exactly. and a whole lot safer. So I like this quite a bit. So there you go. I'll hand that back Thanks, to you. Well, that's going to wrap up this table, but I know we're Sounds not good. done. We're going to reset. We're going to take a look at the other wall. We'll be right back. All right, Derek, so we've cleared that other table. Yep. We've seen those new products. You've got two more guns. We've got Bad to the Bone Tactical mm -hmm. and Bad to the Bone Hunter, there you right? Go. Yep. What got my attention as I'm looking at the specs is that even though this is a little shorter, it's got the same power output. What's going on here? You're With the bullpup, you're looking at the same barrel length, so you're getting the, okay. basically the same amount of... Of, of valve opening okay. as well as uh, pellet travel through the barrel. So you're gonna get the same performance as the longer rifle edition, okay. just in a shorter package. Okay, you know, excellent. So. And you were telling me that they tuned the regs a little bit too? They've tuned the regulators to for each caliber. It's gonna be around nine to 950 to just optimize the velocity for that caliber. You know, you get too fast in 177, you're gonna right. start get keyholing, things like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, they've, they've pretty much optimized each each regulator set for that caliber, which okay. I thought is, is pretty cool. Well, it's better than just doing everything plain Jane Vanilla right. because that doesn't work. I right. want to grab this one here and see how it compares to that other one. It's still, it's very nice. Yep. It's got a, a really nice feel to it. Now the, the wood is walnut. We'll also have these available in a black soft touch, okay. which will be a beech stock with a soft touch sprayed on top I gotcha. of it. So. And we've got the same sort of same cocking method. Safety's right here. Mm. Not charged, of course. Of course not. Okay, just checking. <laughs> Again, these guns are the same as the uh, Ultra Carbine. Super smooth. 300 bar fill and uh, 110 bar on the regulator. Super smooth and the trigger is super light. Fortunately, it's probably adjustable, so you can fine tune it just where Absolutely. you want it. Yep. But that is quite nice. I was telling somebody earlier that uh, I came into the whole bullpup thing skeptical. Me too. The more I shoot them, the more I like them. I have yeah. to admit that they're getting my attention. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they they are. I see the practicality of it. Exactly. I see the usefulness of it. I like the way they really balance. The little teeny bit of hunting I've been able to do with a bullpup mm -hmm. it makes a difference. I've done a lot of hunting with a lot of bullpups, yeah. and it just seems they grow on me as as the time goes by. Yeah. You know? 
Well, buddy, I think that's it. We cover everything? It looks like it's about it to me. Derek, thank you very much. Yes, I sir. appreciate your time. This is Rick Utzer with AirgunWeb.com and AirgunWeb TV at SHOT Show 2016. Thanks for watching.